that are watching, if you if you consider Rolt's, Rolt's evolution line the waifu of the, of the series, oh, um, there you go. I just gave you eye candy. <laughs> what was that about furthering your career, lady? Yeah, nah, nah. You're furthering my Rolt's appeal, actually. <laughs>
kid. If only that would have been 69 EXP, I could have made the joke, but oh well. Yay! Level up, baby! And whenever your Pokemon level up, their stats increase. Obviously. Alright! Woo! Double level up! Double it up, baby! Double your luck. Made us good game! Wow! That's great, Mike! You're pretty good! Well, thank you! All I did was scratch and. Uh, all I just did was scratch your fucking Pokemon a lot. It's not exactly unique battle style. Not yet, anyway. Mm. That was a great battle. Thanks. Let me heal you up both our Pokemon real quick. Oh, thanks, May. I don't think she did that in the original games. Wow. I think I know why my dad has his eye on you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon and already you got a strong bond with it. I bet you can befriend any kind of Pokemon you need. <laughs> Maybe even legendaries. Hmm, possibly. <coughs> well, I guess I better head back to the lab. Outta here! Hmm, well, there she goes. <laughs> In any case, viewers, look at the backdrop over here where she was. You, I mean, it looks kind of painted in a little bit. But you see the mountains in the background? That's actually a nice touch. They actually did pretty good with the graphics, so I, I will give them that. Very sexy. That being said, though... Oh, yeah, I forgot to even go with the Pokemon on here. On um, Route 103, you can find Zigzagoon, Puchiana, and Wingle. Pretty much the same as it was back in the original games. That being said, though... All right. Uh, let's get, uh, hey, dude. Uh, wait, please don't wander around here. I just discovered a set of incredible rare Pokemon prints. Wait till I finish sketching them, okay? <sighs> All right, Tracy. <laughs> no, no. Tra viewers, viewers, you remember Tracy from the anime? Yeah, Tracy Sketchup. Yeah, he was called Kenji in, in, in the Japanese version of the anime. Mike, over here. Let's hurry back to Little Root. All right. Ah, back home we go. Might as well before we actually really get started on the quest. That being said, though, said on back to the lab. Ah, there you go. Smells like weed in here. I just smoked the wrong side of a cigarette. Oh, Mike, over here. Huh. Then again, this is Professor Birch we're talking about. He has a lot of weed. Look how happy he is. Does this look like a guy that does not smoke weed to you? Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Like, seriously, look how happy he looks. Like, seriously, all the other professors outside of Juniper, which she probably smokes, too, and some of that, we're all grumpy and shit. Even Professor Oak, to an extent. But, damn, you know, Birch looks really happy. So, I heard you beat May on your first try. That's amazing. May's been helping with my research for a long time, so she has a pretty long history as a trainer already. A pretty long history? She has a level 5 muck kit, but nothing else. No, whatever. I think he kind of dolts on his kid a little too much, because he, he's obviously fibbing. I think that settles it. Mike, I ordered this Pokedex for my research, but I think you should have it. Ooh, thank you! We get a Pokedex! That Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My girl May takes hers with her everywhere she goes. Whenever she catches a rare Pokemon, it records the data to the Pokedex. Why, she comes to seek me out whenever I'm in the field and show me. The Pokemon and people you will meet, and that great expanse of nature that lies before you. Experience them both while you fill in your Pokedex. I'd love to see the world seem wider than ever. Though I'd love it even more if you came back from time to time to show me your progress. So you want me to journey from all the way across the region to come back and show you my Dex? Yet yeah, now. I'm getting the itch to go out and do field work again. <laughs> wow, Mike, you got a Pokedex too! That's great, just like me! Here, I'll give you something too. A little gift. Some Pokeballs so you can catch wild Pokemon. Yay! Finally, we get Pokeballs. Nice. If you catch a Pokemon in the wild and battle together with it for a while, it'll grow stronger for you. Take that as a bit of advice from a more experienced trainer like me. Bruh. Stop the cow. <laughs> okay, now you're starting to talk bullshit. 
This is one of the reasons why I did not like Mei in Gen 3, because she was so not snobby, but she was kind of like a little, I don't know, she was a little cocky for someone that is not a really serious rival. You ain't tough, ho. You know what I mean? Shit like that makes it seem like she's better than you. When in reality, she's probably just as, she's probably weaker than a fucking newbie, an actual newbie would be. But whatever. I'm going to get ready to head out from Little Root Zoo myself. I can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon I'm going to meet. Let's both do our best in our journeys, Mike. Yeah, we definitely will. All right, let's get out of here. Whew. Finally got the Pokedex, finally got our balls. <laughs> so now it's time to get going. Mike, wait! Huh? Oh yeah, I forgot to say bye to Mom. <laughs> Mike, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Yes, I did. Oh, what an adorable Pokemon! You got it from the Professor? How nice. You are your chi father's child, after all. You look good together with Pokemon. Hmm, to think you have your own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. <laughs> I'm so proud! <laughs> Mom, please, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> but don't push yourself too hard now. If anything happens, you can always come home, honey. Forever. Stay forever. No. <laughs> In any case, see you later. Alright, it is finally time to go. Yes, to begin our journey. Out into the great unknown. Uh, in the case, let me check the nav. Let's see. Our next location. Odell, yeah, we already been there already. Petalburg City. Alright, that's the closest place. Alright, let's go there. Next stop, Petalburg City. D Mike? Huh? Oh, May, what's up? This is from my dad. He said he forgot to give it to, to you before. The PokéNav Plus? The, the DevNex DexNav function has been added to the PokéNav Plus. The app I just added to your PokéNav Plus is called the DexNav. It can tell you lots of the Pokémon living in each area and that kind of stuff. It's a handy app to have if you're trying to catch lots of different Pokémon. Alright, guess it's time to use the dev next to do some more Pokemon catching myself. Mike, you should use those Pokeballs I gave you earlier to do a bit of catching too. I guess so. In fact, I think I will. Now, in any case, um, the Pokemon here on Route 101 is the same as I told you last time, so nothing really different. However, uh, Wampo is an actually good Pokemon that you get really early on. Wampo has the chance of evolving into two different kinds of Pokemon. Depending on what he evolves into will determine what the final evolution of that Pokemon will be. So like, Wampo can evolve into two different Pokemon, Cascoon and Silcoon. Now, if it evolves into Cascoon, it'll evolve into Dust Tops. It's pretty much the B-drill of, of the game. Now, if it evolves into Silcoon, it will evolve into Beautifly. And it's kind of like the Butterfree of this, of this region. So, you know, there you go. Mike, over here! See that right over there? There's a tail sticking out. There's a Pokemon hiding there. Hmm, what is it? And look here, if you check the death next. Hmm. Alright, it looks like that Pokemon knows a pretty rare move, too. Hmm. Mike, try getting closer. Real nice and slow. Press lightly on the circle pad to sneak close to a Pokemon hiding in the grass. That's what it said in the book. Alright, closely. You're almost there. Slowly, slowly. Remember, you have to press lightly on the circle pad to sneak. Alright, let's do it then. Closely. Ooh! Bruh! Aw, oh, too bad. If you try to get closer and rush, a hiding Pokemon will just run away from you. I fucking sneaked close to it and it did nothing. Oh, that's bullshit. Whatever. But yeah, that can happen sometimes. You can occasionally find a rare Pokemon in the grass that may have some unique moves on it sometimes. 
So, you know, there you go. I just kind of fucked up. Oof. Oh, well. I did some research before the episode to find out how to move slowly. And I did exactly what it told me to do. I walked slowly. And it did nothing. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck it. Why did I even add such a feature? It's just, it's, it's, it's annoying. That being said, though, they finally sell Pokeballs, and now they have antidotes here. I recommend stocking up on some antidotes. Anything get at least two. Because, um, I think Wurmple has access to Poison Sting. I think, in any, in any case. So, yeah, if he does, then, um, needless to say, your ass will probably get poisoned on the, on the way. So, just be mindful of that. As far as Pokeballs and potions and shit is concerned... Um, there's only one particular Pokemon that I want to catch in the next upcoming route. So, I don't need to really get any extra Pokeballs. However, let me actually show you something real quick. Now, if you happen to purchase more than 10, or at least 10 or above, you will get a rare Premier Ball as an added bonus. Premier Balls basically gives, it has a catching modifier of times one. So, there's a chance of working better than the average Pokeball catch rate. So, just keep that in mind when you're, you know, going about that. So, if you have the extra cash, go about it. I thought I was sketching some rare Pokemon prints. It turned out they were my own footprints. What? So, you wasted our time and cock blocked this because you were... You know what? Never mind. Just forget it. He was basically put there as a plot wall to stop us from progressing. In the case... Route 102! Ooh, look at all the Winkles! Nice! Ah! Okay, there's another one. Hmm. See, left, right. Up. See, I did it again! I walked! I fucking walked slowly and it didn't work! Oh, that pisses me off! Ugh. Whatever. <laughs> That being said, though, as far as the Pokemon on this route is concerned, we got Zigzagoon, Wurmple, Puchiana, C Dot and Omega Ruby, Lotad and Alpha Sapphire, Rolts, and Surskids. Now, there is one Pokemon in this bushel that I'm actually looking for, and hopefully I can find it. Of course, this Pokemon has a, like a 4% encounter rate, so if I don't find it, well, there's C Dot at least. It's actually not the Pokemon I'm looking for. But, you know, it's there. However, C Dot is kind of a rarity. Because you can only get it in this in this version. C Dot is a grass. I think it's a grass dark type. When it evolves in well, it's I think it's like grass at first, but when it evolves into its next stage, on um, Nuzleaf at 14, it gain it gains dark traits. And its final form, Shift Tree, evolves via use of a of a leaf stone. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, it's a good grass slash dark type that covers two bases. All right, I'm going to search for the Pokemon I'm looking for here real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, viewers, I'm back. After like nearly a half an hour of searching, finally found Rolts. Oh my fucking Arceus. Took way too damn long. Restarted the game like three times. This is bullshit. <laughs> finally found it though. Rolts level three psychic type. Or rather... No, no, it's Psychic Slash Fairy type in Gen 6. Sorry, I'll confuse you with the Gen 3 version. Ah! That being said, though, I want to add Rolts to my team. So, like I said, Rolts is a 4% chance. So, you're probably going to be looking probably as long as I did. <laughs> Good luck! Oh, man. Alright, you know what? Let's try that Premier Ball that we got earlier. Premier Ball, go! Surf's get off screen because it's a 1% chance. So I figured, hey, I might as well catch it. 
So that was technically my first catch, but Rhodes is the actual first catch for the team, that is. Rhodes senses the emotions of, po of people using the horns on its head. This Pokemon rarely appears before people, but when it does, it draws closer if it senses that the person has a positive disposition. Ah, I guess it likes me. <laughs> cool. I hope this Rhodes has the ability I I'm looking for. If not, I'm going to have to probably search for another one. That being said, though, for my roles, I have a good name for you. Let's see. G. Where is it? Where is it? G. 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 A. R. D. E. There you go. Garden. Yeah. Short. It's short for Garden. Garden War. Get it? <laughs> Yeah, clever, isn't it? A prelude to what it will become in later levels. So, there you go. Those that wanted to see Ralts to eventually become, you know... Well, Ralts is not the... I don't consider Ralts the wife. I beg your pardon? Okay, so that's some other um, creepy dudes on the internet. So, you know, there you go. But Ralts is... Yes, and it has the ability I'm looking for. What nature you have? Quirky. Oh, um, let me see. Quirky, quirky, quirky. Here it is. Ah, it's neutral. Perfect. Yeah, because you definitely don't want to have one that has no special attack or special defense. Trust me, that would be bad for Rolls. It's nicely balanced, and it has the synchronized ability. It passes poison, paralysis, or burn status conditions to the Pokemon that inflicted it. So, yeah, like if, like let's say it's facing Coffin, Coffin uses Sludge, it poisons Rolts, Rolts can you synchronize to have that um, Coffin get poisoned. So, you know, there you go. Very, very interesting. In any case, this is the Rolts that I call off screen. It has this Swift Swim ability which moves its on speed stat and water. Water Sludge is Bug Sludge Water type. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to be adding Rolts to the team because Rolts was not an, an intentional catch for the team. But Rolts is a 1%, or rather, not Rolts. Surskit is a 1% encounter rate on Route 102. So if you happen to find one, um, probably catch it because it's very, very rare. So just like Rolts, is very, very rare. Speaking of which, does Rolts have um confusion yet? No, it does not. Yeah, I may I may have to switch Rolts in and out until it gets there. But yeah, Rolts, um, I think Rolts learns confusion at level four in this gen. Because in gen five, or rather in gen three, it didn't learn confusion to like level six. Oh my gosh. Hey dude, how's it going? You have a Pokemon with you. That means you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. Uh great. Trainer battles! Yes, and our first one at that. May doesn't count because she was our, our rival. This is our first trainer battle. Versus youngster Calvin. Alrighty then. Now, I could switch Rolts in. And stuff like that. Because once Rolts gets to level 4, it'll learn confusion. Then it'll be able to fend for itself. But first, I gotta fucking heal it. You know what? I I'll save it for the I'll save it for the next battle. Get this bitch out of here. But yeah, as I said in the last episode, you might want to consider catching yourself a Zigzagoon, because like I said, they have the pickup ability or potentially pick up. Um, but yeah, they can have a chance of picking up some pretty useful items. So like, rare rarely they might even find a rare candy. So you never know. That being said, though. Good job, good job. Listen, you. If you're strong, you should have told me from the start. <laughs> yeah, I'm super strong. I spammed Ember twice. That makes me OP. Objection! Mm. Yeah, for some people, that would probably be very OP. But it's not really OP. That being said, though, <sighs> it's more so a case of just getting the fucking bitch out of the way. Quick. That being said, though, and you notice I caught myself up. Okay, here's another one. Let me see if I can get it. Uh, downwards. Downwards. This way. Fuck! I'm going to get better at 
regret that someday, okay? I will! <laughs> For some reason, it, it's bullshit! Remember, viewers, you remember when I did my Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, um, Let's Play? Oh my gosh! Remember, like, when I was trying to catch that, or, or sneak up to that Bond slide? I think it was the SS Libra, um, dungeon. Yeah! Tried to sneak up to that fucking Bond slide. Every time I got close to it, it fucking ran away. And it wasn't until I actually looked up how to actually slow down my walking speed on my GameCube emulator that I finally figured out how to fucking get to, to Bond Slide without having to chase it around in a fucking, um... As if I was playing Duck Duck Goose or some shit. Like, just, like come on. All right. Yes! There you go. Confusion gets. Ah, down and out. Literally. All right, got confusion for vaults. That's nice. That's nice. What's up, dude? I'm going to catch a whole bunch of Pokemon. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> I'm not very tall, so I sink right into the tall grass. The grass goes up my nose and I... <laughs> Damn, dude. Need a tissue? <laughs> How small is he that the, that the tall grass actually goes into his nose? That's crazy. That being said, though, all right, now Rhodes has confusion. Now Rhodes can fend for herself. Yes. And this is just the start. <laughs> Rhodes will become one of our most trusted companions in later levels. Trust me on this. You will see for yourself when we get to that point. That being said, though, Gurdy! Unfortunately, um, Poochiana is rolled as Kryptonite, so I'm going to have to switch. As you should already know by now, um, Psychic types don't stand much of a chance against Dark types like Poochiana. So, you know, that ain't happening. But at least I can give it some EXP by switching it out. That being said, though, Poochiana looks so cute in these graphics. Look at, it's a cute Dark Doggo! Unfortunately, at the KO attack. There you go. <laughs> One shot at that bitch. Good job, Siege. Yay! And we got another one. Let's see. Another one. Another one. Alright, Gurney! There you go. Now you have your actual full battle. This Taylor's like level two. It's like a fucking toddler. Get this fucking Taylor out of here. Don't bring ugh, infants onto a battlefield. It's really a bad and honestly stupid idea. Fuck off! Psycho get this! Oh, there you go. That poor Taylor. I mean, I guess it makes sense to have it here because it's, you know, it's the starting route where the trainer battles will, will start. So, yeah, I guess it makes sense to see level 2 Pokemon. But still, like, you're bringing a level 2 Pokemon in a fight that it stands no chance in. It's not going to work. That being said, though, we got our first berry trees here. These orange berries. Nice. Now, ugh, get these Petra berries. Nice. Now then, um, when we actually get access to a watering can, we'll be able to plant berries back into the soil here. So that way they can be well regenerated into new berries. Berries actually have more of a purpose in the Hoenn games more than the other games in which they're just, well, there. Well, to an extent they have an effect in the Sinnoh games too, but to an extent anyway. I'm going to keep winning and aim to be the best trainer. Help me further my career. Huh. You might just end up furthering my career, girl. Huh. Well, we'll see how good you actually are. Probably aren't good at all. Gurney! There you go. Now, let's see some more Gurney action. Sickle up. Uh, how is Sickle next to faster than me? So, goodness! Ah! There you go. Not bad. See, Roach is starting to show her stuff. Ah! Don't want the potential wife dying, though. <laughs> like I said, I'm not into that wife shit and stuff. I mean, I have my husbandos and stuff like that. 
But those that are watching, if you if you consider Rolts, Rolts' evolution line the waifu of the, of the series, um, there you go. I just gave you eye candy. <laughs> what was that about furthering your career, lady? Yeah, nah, nah. You're furthering my Rolts' appeal, actually. <laughs> Stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! <laughs> so we're gonna Oh! Hit yourself? Yeah! Hit yourself and let me win. That's the sexiest strategy of all. Good job, Garnet Baby. That is good game. I ended up furthering your career. No shit. <laughs> right? Damn. You made me look way good. You made me look too good. Mm, sucks for you. Go back to the drawing board, lady. Go back to the drawing board. You'll get... You'll need to get good if you want to overcome me. <laughs> and trust me, if you do eventually get to that point, you'll still lose. Because I have... You know, in-game plot armor. Meaning, I'm going to get the best team. So, yeah, you still won't stand a chance against me. Damn, that's a shame. That being said, though. Yeah, I know I'm sounding like a cocky little prick, but, you know. That's just how I am sometimes. I mean, if I know you stand no chance, and you really stand no chance, yeah, it's not going to work. You should see me in PvP. And stuff like that. I take, I show no fucking mercy at all, at all. Like, if you if you see me on the battlefield in PvP, you will probably die. So yeah, I show mercy to no one on the battlefield. That's just how I am. You know, that's the soldier in me. Fuck yeah! Hey, hey, man, what's up, girl? How's it going, Mike? Have you been using the dev? The dex nav and perfecting your sneaking skills? No, I still suck ass at it. Hope you already checked out the dex nav's de detector mode. It reacts to Pokemon in the area, so it's really handy. Interesting. Huh? Ah! What is it? Look it! Up there, Mike! Beautifly! Oh, now that's a cute scene right there. Beautiflies are beautiful. Literally. Those were beautifly, weren't they? I'll have to check my deck snap later to be sure. But wow, we already made it through Route 102, huh? I guess it's really true that time flies when when you're with a friend. <laughs> that's true. Oh, look, there's Petalburg nearby. Mike, your dad, he's the gym leader in Petalburg City, isn't he? Huh? Wait, what? Our dad is a gym leader? Fuck, shock and awe. Maybe I should try to take him on myself once I turn up my Pokemon a bit more. Guess I'm off then, Mike. Let's meet up again somewhere. Uh, yeah. See you, May. Our dad is a fucking gym leader. Hmm. Wow. Unfucking believable. Our dad is a fucking gym leader. Looks like we'll have to find out for ourselves if this is true or not. Next time, as we head into Petalburg City. If you guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for gaming bits for me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell so that you will find my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment. Duh. Till next time, dudes and dudettes. This is Mike from Rage Break Gaming. I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smell you later.